Hey friends, so check this out. We finally got our hands on the new Synology UC3200. It's an active active controller from Synology. It's an IP SAN system. So it's got two controllers, it's got one on this side, one on this side, awesome machine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the inside, okay? We know it's nice and shiny and beautiful on the outside, but what's inside is what really matters. We're gonna go over some of the specs, we're gonna go over some of the details, some of its hardware, its interfaces, and talk more about the system in detail. But that's not it. This is the first part of a two-part series. Number two is we're actually gonna fill it full of hard drives and we're gonna spin it up, we're gonna test it out, and we're gonna see what it can do. And guess what? We are gonna shut down one of the controllers to watch the other one kick on. So we're actually going to do that real time and see exactly what it does. We'll be monitoring it. We'll show you the interfaces and the consoles for you to see exactly what happens when one of the controllers goes down and the other one kicks on. All right, guys. So stay tuned. Check that out. In the meantime, let's go over this beautiful machine from Synology, the UC3200. Check this out, guys. Let's take a look at the back really quick, guys. Uh, we'll start on the left-hand side, and this is the um, power supply. These are dual power supplies, as you can see. Okay, next to that are the landlines, LAN1 and LAN2, and those are gigabit RJ45 ports. Next to that is the 10 gigabit E, it's RJ45 or 10 G base T port. Okay, next is the expansion port. Right next to that is the reset button. Then up on top, PCIe 3.0 slot. Further boost network bandwidth with optimal 10 gigabit or 25 gigabit network interface card expansions. And next is the console port. Active Active Controller Module. Dual controller modules work simultaneously to provide high performance and non-disruptive iSCSI service. Now guys, let's take a look under the hood. The UC3200 comes equipped with an Intel Xeon D1521. It's a four core, 2.4 gig processor that can burst up to 2.7 gigs. The UC3200's dual CPU provides enterprise class performance of up to 140,000 4K random write IOPS with very low latency. Over on the left hand side are four DDR4 memory slots. Now, the UC3200 does come with 8 gigs of RAM, and that's ECC UDIM RAM. However, the system is expandable up to 64 gigs to boost system performance. Now, these are fans. They're redundant, modulized fans for easy maintenance and replacement, minimizing service downtime. Now here is a SATA dome. The dedicated SATA dome isolates the operating system from the regular data stored in the hard drives. Now, over here on the far end of the system is a non-transparent bridge, or the NTB. Connect two controller modules at a blazing fast speed and instantly sync memory data between the controllers to prevent cached data loss when one controller is unavailable. The UC3200 works with mainstream virtualization systems optimized for virtualization environments, integrated with VMware vSphere, 6.5 Microsoft Hyper-V, and VAAI to offload storage operations and optimize computational efficiency. Turn the Synology UC3200 into a block-based storage component with the support of OpenStack Cinder. I knew Synology was not gonna let us down with this. When we first started talking about it uh, several months ago, when they were first designing it, they were first rolling it out first, and they haven't let us down, guys. They kept their word. Great system, so check it out. So if you guys need more information regarding this system, it is available now, okay? So check us out at simplynas.com.
or drop us an email at sales at sales at simplynas.com. Very simple, guys, to get a hold of us. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them below as well. My name's Hernan, guys, on behalf of Simply NAS and our awesome friends at Synology. Thanks again for checking in, guys. Have a great one.